anyway. Howdy guys, we are back in the garage with the adorable little Suzuki Cappuccino. And we are done working on grid life stuff for this year. No more MR2 for the moment. So we can finally get back to our little flooded cappuccino. And last time we were working on the car, we had the whole thing cleaned out. We drained the oil and stuff. There was water in the oil. So now we are going to drain the gas tank and make sure that we get all the gas out, get some nice fresh stuff in there and then see if it starts. We're gonna drop the gas tank out of the car because that's kind of just the most uh, straightforward way to drain the gas. Mark, what's hilarious is this is a large diameter exhaust for this car. <laughs> what diameter even is this? Uh, 45 millimeter or, or inch and three quarter. <laughs> Danger zone. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Oops. So gas tank is here, our little like six gallon gas tank, which means all this stuff is gonna have to come out. Probably be good to drain the rear diff. Quite likely it got water in it. Uh, I, I bet you a dollar there's water in it. Okay, you, you, I'll take that action. All right, okay. cool. I don't actually have a dollar. Uh, I don't either. <laughs> I don't know, that looks pretty good. I'm not seeing any water in that. Yeah, water would have came out first. Yeah. I think I owe you a dollar. Easy peasy. Easy as one, two, three. It's coming from both directions, Mark. Oh, Lord. Yeah. So it's probably got water in it. There's a lot. It smells like gasoline. The issue is trying to tell the difference is pretty difficult. Okay, right, so we have uh, lowered the car down and we're just gonna pull the interior uh, back out just so that we can access the fuel tank here. I think that we might need to remove some of the fuel pump stuff from the top in order to be able to safely drop the tank down uh, as far as like wiring and stuff like that so that the tank's not hanging on it. My cappuccino is peeing out of its butt. The nice part about this, as painful as it is to throw away potentially totally fine gas, the cappuccino has like a six gallon capacity or something like that, so we are only able to physically waste so much gas. That, Mark, is a perfectly rust-free gas tank. That is beautiful. So, three its ID, we, uh, the cleaner stuff. Uh -huh. So, you got a big bottle. Mac, we are definitely going to need D fluid. Definitely need D fluid. Oh, vacuum cap assortment. Here we go. So it's supposed to be a uh, shopping trip for the cappuccino. Uh, Mark is also getting a bunch of stuff <laughs> for our personal vehicles. <laughs> this is ballooned out of control. So uh, we've got uh, Purple Power, Extreme Power cleaner and degreaser. Two times more cleaning and degreasing power. Supercharged formula with powerful degreasers dissolves extreme grease, oil, and dirt. They did not use an Oxford comma. Purple power, step up your copy.
So before we go ahead and throw this rear diff back into the cappuccino, we're gonna go ahead and fill it up and we're gonna be using Valvoline 7590 full synthetic. Doing this outside the vehicle is going to be the easiest and luckily this bag makes it a heck of a lot easier. We don't have to worry about a stiff bottle trying to get in there or we wouldn't have to worry about like pumping the oil in. This, you know, we can just shove in and just empty the bag, super easy. I'm gonna go ahead and replace this fuel line. the stock ECU here which Brian took apart when I had it automotive aesthetic and confirms that it does not look too bad. We cleaned it but it had very little corrosion. No it won't it won't crank the starter oh we had to tap the starter before. Didn't we? Yeah, uh, when I went to Automotive Aesthetic. Not even trying. I'm not seeing any signal. Basically what we're doing is just bypassing, bypassing the starter solenoid switch to see if it just, that's the issue. All right, I'm connected. Okay, you're not touching anything? I'm not touching anything, I'm clear. Okay, so. So it does spin. It's also not engaging. I think we should try and pull the starter out, but I think it does maybe a pain in the butt. It's actually a lot more accessible from the bottom. <laughs> At least parts of it. Whoa, what's that? Oh. What's that, Mark? That's the uh, best brand ever. It's Mitsubishi. No wonder it failed. <laughs> Don't wanna hear you. So I would, I would say that the issue we're seeing is probably indicated by this layer of dirt. Nah. <sighs> nah. Um, it's not like the car is underwater, like it should be fine. Yeah. We'll see this spin, but we also want to see it shoot out where it would engage with the flywheel. If it doesn't do that, or if it bounces back and forth, then that means that the starter mechanism itself is having issues. Ready? Yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> it just jammed. Huh. If I had to guess, considering that it was working perfectly fine before the flood, I would say that this is a result of the whole thing being under dirty water. So I hopped onto Facebook forums for cappuccinos and there was a fellow named Raymond who uh, was very kind and allowed me to buy his old starter off of the cappuccino that he got as a parts car. Um, he has a company called anythingwheeled.com. I think this is like a 70,000 kilometer Starter is fine. As long as it has not been flooded, it's probably gonna work just fine. He's, 
He did send me a video of it cranking before he pulled it out of the car, so. Haven't been able to get an alternator yet, unfortunately, but we do have a solution for that coming. But yeah, right now we're just gonna see, does this puppy run? It sounds so weak. I, I, it might be because of the alternator. Yeah, the like, alternator can cause a lot of problems. It, it's struggling to keep voltage. It runs, that's phenomenal, that's great news. Uh, it sounds healthy. And then last thing we need to do is uh, flush out the transmission. That's kind of the last thing where we haven't changed the fluids where it might have gotten water in there. I don't think it's got any water in it. Doesn't look like water. <laughs> We're doing manual transmission fluid. Got this manual transmission fluid from Valvoline. It is in this purple packaging, which does make me think of a uh, grape drink. And that makes me thirsty, but I'm gonna resist drinking it. And I think as soon as I see the fluid, yeah, I'm no longer thirsty. Advance Auto is amazing. We've been super lucky to work with them for as long as we have. And I shop there uh, both for work and for personal stuff. They always have what I need. The only exception being for cars that weren't sold in the U.S. market. Uh, no parts store sells parts for cars that weren't sold here because they would sell basically no parts until somebody who happens to own a Suzuki Cappuccino happens to need an alternator. Uh, little alternators like this were really not used on any cars here in the U.S. So as far as I know, no cars share this alternator. So what am I going to do? Well, luckily, it's a small alternator for a car. It's just the right size alternator for a snowmobile. So I hit up a Snowcat dealer, uh, which is a brand of snowmobile. And as it turns out, certain models of Snowcat snowmobiles had the F6A turbo engine, 660cc from a Suzuki Cappuccino, meaning they had a very similar alternator. We'll have to change this pulley on the nose here, but other than that, everything is pretty much identical. So, yeah, I basically have a car with a snowmobile engine in it. And last but not least, we need to replace the battery. This guy has been going out even before the car got flooded, and unfortunately, it is a Hitachi Tough Long Super. There's a bunch of Japanese writing on top of the battery, and there's a little spot where you can initial how many kilometers were on the car when you installed it. Meaning that this is definitely a Japanese market battery, and they are not going to sell replacements for this style of battery here in the US. These little K cars use a proprietary unique style of battery post that is much smaller than what you were going to find on a US market vehicle. Luckily, there is one car I have heard of that does have a similar style battery that's sold as a US market car and Advance Auto should have a replacement battery for it. The battery in question is from a 2007 Toyota Prius, but I think most model years should work. I've also heard that the Honda Fit battery works and it's probably cheaper. The Prius battery is maybe half an inch longer than the battery that comes with the cappuccino, but it still fits pretty much perfectly. And most importantly, the terminals and posts are exactly the right size. So with an alternator from a snowmobile and the battery from a Prius, the cappuccino lives. So now all we have to do is a test drive. I'm trying to pull it out of the garage. I noticed that, okay, we're in neutral. now 
What happens when we turn it on? Clutch is in. The thought is that the water got up into the transmission casing and has basically welded the clutch and the flywheel together via rust. So I'm going to try and just chalk all the wheels like I do here and just put it in second gear and just bump start it and try and see if I can get them to disengage. Isn't it delightful that that was solved so easily? Let's go for a test drive. The best little car in the world is back, baby. AFRs are looking right. AFRs are looking tight. We need gas, though, real bad. <laughs> Still remembered to grab the right stock as my turn signal. Won't fool me that easily. Oh, we're rocking and rolling, baby. We're zipping. The zippiest car is back. So the cappuccino does run and drive just fine now. And if you guys are enjoying the cappuccino videos, we have more coming next year. I've got big plans for it. But in the meantime, if you would like to support the channel, uh, and I know it's taken forever since the flood and everything, but we have merch. Uh, so three different designs, uh, one for the catfish Camaro, two cappuccino designs, and all this stuff can be had uh, in hoodies like that or t-shirts. Uh, they've all got back graphics on them. Head to the link in the description and get some for yourself, maybe for Christmas for somebody. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching guys and have a great day.